thank you very much. Thank you very much for all those that are joining us by social media. We are here at Mukoveko Maximum Prison. Uh, this is in Kabwe, uh, Kabwe District in Central Province. Uh, I'm here with party officials, others have gone in. We we're here to see the incarcerated political prisoners. Honorable Ronald Chitote Lapambasha MP and our Deputy Secretary General Kawambwa MP, Honorable Nixon Chilangwa. And um, our council chairperson for Kawambwa and three others. We are, we are here to thank you very much, Ronotta. Uh, thank you very much. So we, we found time to come and see them. Uh, Honorable Nixon Chilangwa and Honorable Ronald Chitote have actually even grown beards. They look like the pre political prisoners that they are. They look like you know, Kaunda or Mandela when they were in prison. They wore long beards. So I found Honorable Nixon Chilangwa and Honorable uh, Ronald Chitotela wearing Mandela or Kaunda beards. They are in high spirit and they, they sent greetings to all of you. They recognize that they've been incarcerated unfairly. If you've looked at that judgment, we've all, con we've all condemned it we, uh, because there was no evidence proffered against him. The information that came from witnesses was totally disregarded. Earlier, they had even raised a serious complaint against a magistrate. They took the matter to the Judicial Complaints Commission. They laid on the table the misconduct of the magistrate. They laid on the table recordings and other information that they had. And JCC to date has never sat to investigate the allegations against the magistrate because they had attempted to demonstrate that uh, the judgment that was forthcoming was predetermined, arranged from Lusaka, not the evidence that appeared in court. So as a patriotic front, we've always uh, uh, dealt with this matter, that both Ronald Stotela and Nixon Chilangwa are but political prisoners. Someone has used lawfare, the use of the law, to punish your political opponents. This is what is happening in this country. They will use the law to steal, for example. They will use um, procurement laws such as direct bidding or single sourcing to steal money, to steal public resources. They will use the law to jail opponents, as it has happened in the case of uh, Nixon Chilangwa, Ronald Chitotela, and five others. We will distribute the judgment and the case record for you to see for yourself that this was a great injustice. So we took time as a party <coughs> that uh, we should come and encourage them that we are with them. Their application for bail was denied. We keep on hoping that the judiciary should not participate in processes that are political. The judiciary should not participate in punishing political opponents. This is our cry, that the judiciary must be impartial must be an independent arbiter. The judiciary must be a safe refuge for all of us to run to. The judiciary must never uh, accept to be destroyed in this manner, where they are being used to destroy political opponents of the ruling party. The case of Honorable Nixon Chilangwa and Ronald Chitotela is a clear case in point where they had requested that this particular magistrate excuses himself. To that, the magistrate was actually promoted and the matter of misconduct against him has never been heard. We need to emphasize that. And now today, our leaders are in maximum prison for offenses that they've disputed they did and evidence was laid in that court of law. To members of the Patriotic Front, this is a very difficult period for all of us. We have to remain resolute, we have to remain united. I am very happy with what I found in Central Province, where we found a very active party, very engaged. They take a lot of time to see our leaders here at um, Maximum Prison. They participate in radio calls, they participate in political activities. This is what our provincial chapters and provincial women and the district structures should do. We should emulate what 
central province is doing, where they are actively engaging the citizenry. The country is going through various crises, high prices of fuel, milli meal, you know, sugar, cooking oil, rentals, electricity. We are suffering the worst load shedding we, we've, we, we've witnessed, I think, in recent memory. The economy is on its knees, it's collapsing, yet government and the ruling party are engaged in political fiasco. That's where they invest their time in political matters. So we would like to thank you for joining us. We are in Kabwe at um, Kabwe um, Mukoweko Maximum Prison and we have seen our leaders. They are still holding on and asking for our prayers. They also pray inside there and their spirits are not broken, they are determined. They did nothing wrong. And they know with due time and due course, they'll be vindicated. God bless you and thank you for, for joining us to the leadership in Central Province 1 to Akualesa, Tepakule Kapo, Natasha Sana. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.